show? I give credit to Coach Leach. He had us team ready to play. Uh, they beat us. Uh, we have no excuses. And when, when we don't win, I told the team, put it on me. We got to coach them better. Uh, 632 yards, 623 yards passing, man-to-man uh, -man coverage. Uh, we couldn't stay with the guys. Uh, we made too many mistakes. Uh, we did not protect the quarterback. When we did protect the quarterback, we were late on some throws. We went right on uh, a couple of reads. Uh, Miles didn't make some good plays. We dropped too many balls. I think our offense woke up in the second half. We ran the ball a little bit better, but just way too many mistakes. And uh, just give credit to Mississippi State. Uh, they did a good job. They had a good scheme. Them crossing routes really hurt us. I told the team, we're going to find out what we made up. Let's go back to work. Any questions? Coach, David Pulse from Associated Press. My question is, defensively wise, one, how much did not having Stingley in the secondary, yeah. you know, hinder things? And was it scheme or was it execution for what yeah. you were able to do in the yeah. secondary? Yeah, first of all, obviously, when you lose a player like Derek Stingley, it really hurt us. Uh, and then uh, we had to play Jay Ward. Jay Ward was out for two weeks. Uh, he had a, a minor operation, didn't practice much, and had to play most of the game today. So uh, he was a little behind. And uh, that wasn't, that's not his fault. He just wasn't ready to play, but that's all we had. Uh, Darren uh, just came in from Nickel State. He wasn't ready to play. Uh, but yes, did we miss him? Yeah, Some, it was scheme. You know, a lot of times they caught us in man. They had some crossing routes, but we just couldn't cover the guys. And uh, But I thought, you know, we pressured uh, the quarterback well. We got some turnovers. We just didn't cover man to man well. Coach, uh, Marcus Fitzpatrick with KEOB in Alexandria. Um, despite the loss, uh, how much pride do you take in seeing the progression of a wide receiver, Jare Jenkins? I loved him. I thought he was good. You know what? Jare's had a good camp. And I'm proud of Jare. Uh, he had a good game. And I think that he's going to continue to get better. He's a good young man. Hey, and I guess, you know, as you step back from this game, I guess what, what sticks out in the defense? Where do you go next? I guess kind of what is your evaluation after this? Well, first of all, we get Stingley back. You know, I think we did some really good things on defense, man. We pressured the quarterback and thought our pass rush was good. We had some blitzes, and somebody's supposed to take the back out the backfield. They didn't take them. You know, we had too many missed assignments. You know, we got to look at why we're having the missed assignments, what's causing them. Uh, too many guys were running free. Too many guys were getting beat one-on-one. -on -one. We just got to go back. To looking at if we can cover uh, man to man, if we can't, we got to make a uh, make a decision, play some zone. And Michael Cobble, WBRC, was this surprising offensively? Uh, how out of sync you guys were? Yes. Yes, especially the first half. It didn't look like uh, you know we dropped ball, we weren't protecting, we couldn't we couldn't get any third down. Nobody it looked like nobody was open. Miles was holding the ball. Uh, you know, hey. No excuses, man. We got to get better, and, and the execution was not there. No question. Coach Nicole Hutchison with KLB. I mean, obviously you hit the nail. Defensively, you guys are pretty solid. Uh, Jacoby Stevens, though, the first sack of the game within like a minute. I mean, how much of a tone setter was that for defense? It was a, it was a tone setter, man. And you know, it's what I've seen all these preseason games. What I've seen all practices. We're very aggressive on defense. I thought we had a right rush. I thought that the rush was good. It just we, we broke down the coverage. Anybody else? Let's see, sorry, but let's see Brooke. Trying to unmute unmu Brooke. Uh, let's see. Was that? Hey, Brody. Yeah, and I guess, I mean, you obviously haven't lost a football game in nearly two years. I guess just kind of how, you know, what do you say to the team and how do you try to kind of rebound for a team that's not used hey, to it? I told them, put it on me. And when they win, I give them the credit. When they don't, I got to take the blame. I got to get them better. I got to coach better. I ask everybody to look at themselves in the mirror, see what we're doing. Let's get better. Well, let's stick together as a football team. We've got a lot of football left. I still believe we have a good football team. We have a lot of young guys that play for the first time. They got their taste of SEC play. Anytime you play in the SEC, there's going to be great athletes across the ball. You got to win your one-on-ones. We didn't do that tonight. Hey, 
Yeah, uh, just seeing Miles Brennan out there today, what did you, what did you see from him and kind of pass protection there? What are some of the yeah. things you think you'll uh, have to work on yeah. there? I saw some inconsistency. I thought that he threw you know, the deep ball well. I thought there were some guys that were open. He had some pressure. Uh, didn't step up in the pocket and made the right reads at the time. But you know what? It's all got to start in protection, man. We got we got to protect. We got to run the football better. We got to beat up front. Coach, uh, of course, there are only a couple of bright spots defensively, but you have Jabril Cox and Ali Gay. You know, they, they stepped up a good bit today. What do you think about their performance? I thought both of those guys were all over the field. Uh, Ali Gay had some batted balls. Had some pressure on the quarterback. Uh, that's what we've been seeing all spring, all, all preseason. Jabril Cox, I thought, played very well. And I got to watch the film, see if he had any bust, anything. But I thought he was all over the field. Those two guys are a big addition to our football team. Hey, Coach, Matt Trent, WBRZ. Uh, kind of piggybacking off those offensive line struggles, uh, how much of it was the offensive line just legitimately not blocking guys or Miles just holding on to it too long and not being comfortable in the pocket? I think it was a combination of both, to be honest with you. Uh, there were some guys, too many guys free, so that's protection. But there were some times where he could have stood in the pocket and got rid of the ball a little bit quicker, and he didn't do it. And uh, so I think it was a combination of both of them. And it was weird in there um, today with the fans and, you know, Longest game ever, it felt like. But uh, how was it operating, I guess, and, and just the general idea of kind of being back? Yeah, it was good. It was great to be there. You know, the Tiger Walk, but, you know, saw a couple of fans. Uh, I thought there was some energy on the field. You know, uh, the fans got loud at the end of the fourth quarter when we had a chance to win the game. So I thought it felt good. I think, I think the fans did about as good a job as they could. Hey, guys, got uh, time for two more questions. Hey, Coach, uh, you mentioned Jacoby setting the tone early, but him throughout the day, it seemed like as much as he could, he tried to come up with huge plays when those opportunities were there, including the strip late that kind of yeah. kept you guys from the Setting, I, I couldn't hear your last part. What was your last oh, part? So, I mean, all the way through that late strip that kept you guys in the game a little bit, yeah. Jacoby stepped up in the final spot. Well, yeah, I thought he made some big plays, you know, and, and Jacoby's – you know, Bo, Bo was very smart putting Jacoby close to the football. He was a rusher today. He was like a linebacker. Made a lot of plays. Um, you know, I think he's going to have a great year for us. That's why I gave him number seven. I think that uh, he, he played a good game today. Obviously, we just fell short. Hey, Coach, uh, you know, obviously it was a rough day for you guys in the secondary. But, I mean, just what's your message, I guess, to some of those younger guys maybe had, you know, kind of a rough outing out there? Yeah, welcome to the SEC. Got to get better. Hey, this is elite, man. You got to win your one-on-ones. And uh, anybody you play any any given day in the SEC, there's going to be athletes across from you. We got to cover them. We got to win our one-on-ones, or we got to do something different. And now some of the young guys that hadn't played a, a bunch, you know, uh, they're just going to – I think they're going to be really good football players. They just got to get a lot of experience. And uh, we wasn't there today, obviously. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you, guys. Go Tigers.